Sound test, one, two, three, one, two, three. Well, hello, good people and Eagle fans. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. This is the very first video shot with um, this set up here that we have, um, The changing the computers. Yeah, it's a totally different look now. Totally different look. And we're getting ready for, of course, our game tonight. Damn, we'll be live streaming in about three hours from now. Man, today has just been crazy trying to get this stuff done. But we have some news. We have some very, very interesting news. Um, while I was out shopping at BJ's, I reported that they said that the talks between Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys are going well, to the chagrin of some Cowboy fans. Um and we've heard so many different things, okay? We've heard that the Cowboys are fed up, you know, after the Green Bay loss, and they're ready to move on from Dak Prescott, and, you know, Jerry Jones wants his pound of flesh, and so on. We, you know, we've heard a lot of different things. Um, be that as it may, be that as it may, what we're hearing is that the deal is progressing. We saw Stephen A. Smith last night interviewing Jerry Jones, and it sounded like Jerry was talking about a deal, of course, you know, as he put it, um, Dak Prescott's contract will age well. Um, and he was talking about it like it was going to happen, that it wasn't, you know, we hope that it's going to age well. Or we hope to have a contract. It sounded like we are going to have a contract. Um and we'll have to finally wait and see if it does come to fruition here as we sit here only a couple of days away from the start of the Cowboys actually getting started here on Sunday and having the game, of course, tonight that we'll be live streaming. <clears throat> Here's something that's interesting that Ed Warder just reported or just tweeted out. As negotiations on a contract continue, Dak Prescott hopes to become the next Super Bowl winning quarterback. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to choke on that. That's what motivates me on being here, honestly, is to be the quarterback that does it, that wins it. I don't think that winning it in any other place would be the same. And there is, to me, if, if I'm reading between the lines here, if I'm reading between the lines, this is Dak Prescott tossing the Cowboys a bone and actually giving them some more leverage back at it. Because what he's saying is, is I don't want to leave. I don't want to go somewhere else and win a Super Bowl. I want to do it here with the Dallas Cowboys because it'll mean more than elsewhere. And this is where I know I say a lot of things. From time to time, I do get some shit right. Now, you've got to admit that from time to time, I do get some shit right. To me, I said if I was Dak, I wouldn't necessarily have been in a hurry to get a deal done because for the simple fact of when I look at it and say, let them sweat some. Let me let them know what I'm about is winning a Super Bowl and find out if they're about the same. Let's see if we can be on the same page. And if we are, then I can do a deal that can be helpful for us to get there. But I got to know that this is what you guys want to do. If it's going to be about the same stuff that we've been doing forever, then nah, bro, I'm not trying to give you a break. No. Pay me the max amount of money if you're not going to go out and spend it to help me get a Super Bowl. Because... Here's the thing on it. Even if you're Todd France and Dak Prescott and all that, think about this. Let's say, hypothetically, Matthew Stafford decides, you know what, I'm retiring after this year. And the Rams say, hey, Dak, we want to choose our quarterback. Okay, that's great. And they build a team around him. They go through, they win a Super Bowl. That wouldn't be a bad thing at all. But in the grand scheme of things, which would be bigger? Because you've got Matthew Stafford right now, Super Bowl winning quarterback. If you are Dak Prescott, after all of the stuff that you have gone through being the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys, after all of the crap that you have taken throughout your career about people saying you're not the guy, you suck, and everything else, all of the abuse, if you end up being the guy after 30 years of doing nothing, take the Dallas Cowboys and win a Super Bowl. How big is that? You instantly become immortalized. You literally can print money. You can walk on water in Dallas. 
And so I understand exactly what he's saying that, hey, it won't mean as much if I win it in Tennessee as it would with the Dallas Cowboys. And at heart, he's always been a Dallas Cowboy fan. It's the place he dreamed about being. He's lived that dream, but fulfilling that dream is winning the Super Bowl here. So the quest for this begins on Sunday. Will they get this deal done? I don't know. Uh, I'd be surprised if they didn't. But then again, I'd be surprised if they did. It's just, they keep you guessing. And that's the way it is, and that's the way Jerry Jones likes it to be. So we've got a um, couple hours. Let's see. Uh oh. Gina shares. Let's see. Oh, that was before. I saw that. Okay. Let's let's listen to this. This is debating on whether Dak Prescott is the seventh. Are Cook's comments fair or foul? Absolutely fair. He's absolutely correct. He is right that Dak receives disproportionate criticism relative to other quarterbacks in his play. He's right that his teammates need to step up in big moments. I, he's probably talking about himself. He's a yeah. self-aware guy, by the way. He was inconsistent last year. And he is especially right that quote from Clarence Hill at the end there that Cowboys fans will miss Dak Prescott if he's gone. I know because you miss me. They let him leave. They don't get a deal done. Is a world where the odds of this Cowboys team improving at the quarterback position, both in the short and the immediate term, are tiny. Let's game this out. Dak Prescott walks. You're taking a $40 million cap hit. You got to pay Micah Parsons. You have no money to sign anyone. Not that there'll be anyone as good as Dak Prescott available in free agency. You're looking at a draft that most people think is not nearly as good as last year in terms of quarterbacks, mm. and you're not going to be picking near the top. You're going to be stuck in the same sort of quarterback purgatory that we find CBA hmm. Steelers. Yeah. And you're going to miss that man greatly because realistically, you are just not going to improve upon him. And I agree with that 100%. And that's why I keep trying to tell people because people have this whole thing. And I'm going to say it's freaking fantasy football. Fantasy football has ruined shit. It just has. Because people think, oh, all we got to do is just draft somebody else, you know, and we'll just plug him in. Or we'll just trade him for somebody else and we'll plug him in on Sunday and they're going to win for us. It's not like that in football, people. Stop thinking fantasy football is real because it's not. It's not. Anyway, I got to finish getting this place together and I need to go to the store because I'm hungry. Get some food to eat uh, before we get ready to do our first game. And we'll be starting at 8 o'clock. So as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And let's see if our drops work here. Let's see.